Upon learning of a bear in a den near my home, I decided to put a couple of trail cameras on the den on a tree right by the mouth of the den to see what I could learn. I set the camera on video and uh, as soon as we started to get some warm weather towards the end of February, the bear would poke his head out and look around once in a while. And by the first week in March, um, he would come out of the mouth of the den a little bit uh, every couple days and just kind of look around. But uh, when he would come out, it was pretty obvious that his muscles were really stiff and he had a hard time climbing up the mound of dirt right in front of the den. And, uh, you know, he was just real wobbly legged and had a hard time standing for a few days there as he would come out. And, um, you know, he would just kind of come out and stand by the hole. As you can see, he's real shaky, and uh, that comes from four months of being curled up in a ball. This is the first uh, bit of video footage that I got where I actually realized that his left eye is missing. He's uh, blind in his left eye, probably lost it in a fight with another bear. It took a few days for him to really get his uh, movements back. As you can see, at times he almost looks like he's drunk. And he would just lay there. But uh, over the next week, he would move about a little bit more, probably spent uh, 20 hours a day in the den. But as he would come out, uh, he would move around a little bit more. And uh, within a few days, you know, he's moving pretty good again. And uh, one thing that you can notice that he's doing here, uh, he would pull a lot of leaves. Any time the weather was dry, he would find leaves around the mouth of the den and pull them back into the den with him. He discovered my camera um, after being out of the den for about two weeks. And uh, he, he messed with it quite a bit, breathed on it, licked it, bit at it. So for the first nine to ten days of March, uh, he was sleeping outside the den uh, almost as much as he was sleeping in the den. And he would spend a lot of time rubbing on things. He must have really itched a lot because he was rubbing and scratching all the time. He's yawning a lot. Stretching. More rubbing, scratching, lots of yawning. I have about 300 uh, video clips of him uh, just laying around and doing all this, you know, rubbing and scratching and yawning and so forth. Now, about the middle of March, the den collapsed while he was out of it. And uh, he spent quite a bit of time trying to dig his way back into the den. He dug and dug and dug uh, oh, uh, for the majority of a day, but it would keep collapsing on him as he would try to dig in. And he finally just eventually gave up trying to dig his way back into it. And uh, then he spent about another few more days just laying outside the den before he left for good. And uh, after he left for good, um, this was actually the first time that he left at night and didn't come back until the next morning. Um, and then he, he left for good for about uh, 10 days, and then he came back, and he just kind of looked around for a little bit, but then he was, uh, he was gone for, for the spring at that time, and... Uh, this coyote is lucky that there isn't a bear in that den. He's gone. 